Hey everyone, I am Bianca. Today I'm going to show you some Dollar Tree DIYs. I am doing them more on the farmhouse side just because I haven't done farmhouse in a while and I know I still have a lot of viewers that like, you know, that style. But if you don't like farmhouse, it's really just the paint colors that you can change up to make it more your style. So I hope you enjoy them and let's get started. For the first DIY, I am taking this Dollar Tree bath mat. Honestly, I have not ever really paid attention to these. I posted a picture on Instagram. If you don't follow me over there, go ahead and do so. And I posted what I'm about to show you, what I made. I was like, oh, you will never guess what I made. And I was so surprised that so many people knew what I used to make the vase. So is it just me or have you seen other YouTubers use this bath mat for DIYs? I haven't, but let me know. I thought it was just a really unique look to it. That's why I picked it up. All right, before I cut out and paint this, I need to clean it really well. I just used some Windex. You can use any type of cleaner that you have just so the paint sticks on when I do paint it. So now I'm grabbing my Dollar Tree vase and I'm wrapping the mat around it just to see about how much I need to cut out from the mat. I'm going to use my white chalk paint from Waverly. I bought this at Walmart and it's lasted me a really long time. The paint is really thick so normally you don't really have to do a second coat. I only do because uh, it just depends on the look I'm going for. But when you are painting plastic, something that's clear plastic like this, I don't think it's a good idea to use spray paint because obviously that would be easier. Last time I used spray paint on a piece of clear plastic like this, it never fully dried. It stayed sticky. So let me know if you guys have used this or tried to use spray paint on this. Let me know how that worked out. I like to use chalk paint on things like this because it dries fast. And the only reason why it's kind of showing up like it's not fully covering it is because I added a little bit of water to the chalk paint. I shouldn't have done that. If you don't add water, then it will cover this really well. So once I fully painted it, I'm just lightly doing a second coat. You could totally leave it like this though. Now I'm going to wrap it around the base and just cut out the piece I need. I'm only going to cover about 80% of the base. You can fully cover it, just depends on the base that you grab. I got one that kind of sticks out at the top so it wouldn't fully cover the whole thing anyways. But I wanted to go for that look so it just depends what kind of look you want and the kind of base you picked up like I mentioned. And now I'm just adding hot glue. And the last thing I did was add these magnolia flowers. I don't know if you can tell, but these are from Dollar Tree. They just put these out at my local Dollar Tree, so hopefully you can find them because they are really pretty. 
So for the second DIY, I picked up three of these five by seven picture frames from Dollar Tree. I also have about half of a Dollar Tree garden fence because I used the other half for a previous DIY. What I'm gonna do is use part of this fence for one of the frames. So I'm gonna start cutting around this just to get a specific part of this to go in the frame. So depending on the look you want, you figure out what part you wanna cut out. So now that I got the part I want cut out, now I'm gonna just remove, well I already removed pretty much everything, but I do need to remove the little pieces of the hardware. So I'm just pulling those out with my stem cutters and make sure when you do this, you pull out to the side because if you pull up, it'll rip the picture frame. Now I'm gonna use my white chalk paint to paint three picture frames like this. And I'm also gonna paint that little part of the garden fence white as well. I'm gonna use this traditional beige to lightly go over the frame and the garden fence. I like this color for neutral decor, but if you don't have it, you can grab any brown if you wanna do the same type of look as what I'm doing. And you could just add some white paint to it For the other two 5x7 frames, I am adding a piece of the bath mat to each one. So it's already painted white, now I'm just going to go over it with some of that traditional beige. And I just have the other frame and garden fence next to me so I can kind of see about how dark I need to add the brown to it. I'm going to connect the three frames together side by side just with my hot glue. There are a lot of different options you can do for this DIY. Maybe if you want to make a window paint out of it with four frames, you can either do all of the garden fence for all four frames or the bath mat for all four frames. So it's just up to you. And now I'm gonna hot glue the part of the garden fence to the center frame. And the last thing I'm gonna do is add hot glue to the two outside frames and add the bath mats to those. I really like the look of this one and just think you can go in any direction with this depending on your home decor and different color paints that you like. Alright so for the next DIY I am starting off with this poster board and I'm also going to use two of the Dollar Tree crates. 
I'm going to start off by cutting off a piece at the bottom with a box cutter. Since I'm on a table, I'm just putting a piece of cardboard underneath so I don't scratch my table. And I believe I cut off about 11 inches. So I start off by lightly pressing on the poster board and then after one or two times then I will actually push all the way through. It just cuts better like that. I'm going to create a border around the poster board with these wood dowels from Dollar Tree. I did try to look for the long wooden skewers. I don't know if you guys have seen them before, but they're super long and I like grabbing those, but I couldn't find any, so I just grabbed these. So since I couldn't find the skewers, I'll have to add two of the dowels to the top, but I'll just cut them down to size to fit around the poster board. All right, now I have them all cut out. I really like using these around the poster boards because they fit perfectly on the sides. So now you can leave it like this if you want, paint it black, whatever color you decide. I'm gonna go ahead and paint them white with my chalk paint and then add a little bit of the traditional beige. I'm mixing some black and white paint to give me a gray color to paint the crates. Now honestly, after everything was said and done with the sign I'm making, I could have just painted the crates with some of the antique parchment and the traditional beige because at the end they do end up looking more brown than gray. But I wasn't sure what kind of paint colors I wanted to do yet. That's why at first I did paint them gray. After that, I went over it with some of the antique parchment paint. So after changing my mind with how I wanted the crates to look, this is when I add a lot of the traditional beige on top to make it look more wooden. Oh, and I would also add water sometimes to my brush just so I can smear it better. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the dowels to the sides of the poster board. I'm going to use this backsplash wall sticker from Dollar Tree to add to this sign. 
So I know you can see that I painted some brown lines on the sign. The thing with crafting is, you know, things change and I did change my mind again. I did want to do shiplap, but then I realized I did not like the way it looked. Like it just did not come out right. If you want to do it, you can also use a Sharpie, which I've done before. So anyways, I decided to change the look of it and add this, which I really did like the way it turned out once it was done. So all I'm doing is trying to measure it out. I'm going to cut out the piece and start at the corner. The easiest way for me to add any type of sticker like this is to start at the corner, place it down onto whatever you're adding this to, and have a card that you don't need and start by smoothing out the sticker onto the surface. So just do that slowly and it will go on really smooth. Once I have that down, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue down this Dollar Tree home sign to the top. I'm also going to hot glue down the crates at the bottom. Now this would also look good with three crates, but I'm only going to use two. So when I finished with that, I added some Dollar Tree Magnolias in there with a little bit of greenery from Walmart. Moving on to DIY number four, I'm going to make a plant hanger. It's really really simple everything you see here is from dollar tree i picked up some of these white florals from there and then i also have a plant hanger chain a metal hanger in case you want to screw that in somewhere on the ceiling in your house i'm not going to use the chain but i did pick it up just to show you they do have that and the reason why I'm not using the chain is because the pot that I picked up from Dollar Tree already has a white piece of rope connected to hang it. So I don't need that. And I'm trying my best not to use black in this video because my favorite color is black and I always end up using it somehow. So I tried to stay away from black in this video. So first I'm going to add some floral foam in here. Once I do that, I'm going to start sticking the white stems all around. At first, I do start to add the flowers towards the front of this flower pot, but in the end, I do kind of spread them out all around because the way I hang it up, you're going to be able to see all sides of the flower pot. So I start spreading them out evenly. And then I'm also going to add some greenery that I have had on hand for a while. So this is what I hung the planter up on because I already have this hook up in my kitchen so I didn't need to install the other one. And these are how the flowers came out. Like I said, I spread them out and added some of the greenery. So it was super simple. I hope you like this one. For my fifth and final DIY today, I picked up a trellis from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use a brown spray paint to spray paint the whole thing. While that is outside drying, I picked up a Easter basket from my Dollar Tree. They already started putting them out at my local ones. So basically all I'm going to do is remove the handle area and all you really have to do is just pull it off. And then I'm also going to remove the rim on top, which is connected with those little pieces of white wire. Now, 
Now that I have the handle and the rim of the basket removed, what I'm gonna do is cut this basket in half. Now you don't need to use stem cutters, you can use scissors, which would have been easier. I don't know why I was using this. I guess I thought the basket was gonna be real tough, but it wasn't. Now that I had that side cut, I'm just gonna add hot glue to all the ends of the basket that I had cut through, that way it won't fall apart. Now that I have them cut in half, I'm gonna paint both of them white with my white chalk paint. Now this would be better to use spray paint on, just because it would be way faster and it would probably cover a little bit better. I had to do about three coats with my paint. So now I'm gonna take the trellis and just cut off the two bottom parts that would go in the ground, that way it's even. And so I have a more sturdy bottom to my basket since all of the bottom is kind of torn up. I am going to place the basket right here on top of the poster board and I'm gonna trace it, cut it out with my box cutter and then I will hot glue it down underneath the basket. So now I'm going to use some Dollar Tree floral wire to connect the bottom big basket and you'll see how I do that because it's just way easier to watch than for me to explain. So after I sealed that with hot glue, I'm adding the floral wire through the basket and around the trellis and I'm just going to twist and tighten that really well. After I did that first one, I grab another piece of floral wire and I just wrap it around the basket and the trellis a few times just for extra support. And I did this to the other side as well. So now for the top basket, I'm going to make it smaller just by cutting off a few inches on each side. So on the side of the little basket, I start off in the center by adding another piece of floral wire. And I just basically do the same thing I did to the bottom basket and just wrap it around. All in all, I believe I did about three floral wires on each side of the smaller basket. And then I added another piece of the poster board underneath that one as well. So I added the same type of greenery that I used earlier and the magnolia florals from Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoy them and I'll see you in the next video.